Hi guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Let's fix the camera. So, I'm back with a review actually. It's really high requested and I am happy to do that since I really love this bag and would like to share with you my um, experience. I do not have the bag uh, for a long time, but I mean, I can already tell what I feel about the bag. I just want to share with you the lipstick I have on. I just tried a bit to do uh, some makeup and I tried the new lipstick, well the new, the um, lipstick by Rihanna. It's the Riri, this one it's called Retro, it's the Retro, it's Retro Matte and it's, it's called Talk That Talk. I don't know if you can tell here, it's too dark, but here you can see that it's really a dark plum and it's a mix between between a dark violet and red and then it's really dark so on the light you see that it looks more like red violet red and and uh, otherwise it seems like a dark dark violet so I just want to show with you the lipstick since I bought it some weeks ago or even a month or two months yeah, so I would say let's get started. I just put the camera down and focus the review on my back. There you go. Let's... Okay. Maybe... More down. Okay, there you go. So, the back comes in a dust bag, just like that. As you can see. Let's open that dust bag. Oh, it's so nice. And here is the Speedy Bandoulier in the size 25, empreinte, and the color is Aurore. So I showed you this Speedy actually in, in the haul video and in one of my, or, or in some of my outfits of the days. And it's a mix, so the color it's a mix between I would say Aube and Japur from Louis Vuitton. So it's not a, a strong pinkish, it's really a warm, a warm kind of pink violet. So like a warm fall pink. And this one is the size 25. So that means that the back measures from here to here exactly 25 centimeters. And let's get measures from here to here. What do we from this side? So these are 7 inch, which means 18 centimeters. And the drop handle if it's right how I said, it's of course shorter as the um, classic Speedy. So I have my Speedy here in the monogram, also to show you a bit the difference, but we'll do it later. So I will shortly measure there you go it's about it's about it's about three and a half or yeah, maybe four inch and that are 10 centimeters. So it's not really enough. I mean, when you have a trench coat, you are limited to carry the bag by, by, handle, as, by hand, as you can see. So let's do it like this. Okay, there you go. So the bag comes, so the bag is in the on-print leather, as you can see, that means that the um, Louis V logo, the monogram logo, is just impr imprinted in the leather and this one is the calf leather, I hope it's right and it comes with a clochette and two keys inside because we have a lock here to lock the back and the lock, it's a typical lock from Louis Vuitton so that on one side you will have the Louis V logo and on the other side you will have written Louis Vuitton Paris. You have two Sippo opening and the Sippo has attached a piece of leather which is the same on print leather like the back is. 
The handle are attached on this kind of ring or buckle on both sides. On the side it comes with a strap here attached and a ring here and that's because the back has also a detachable and adjustable strap to carry the back as a shoulder or crossbody bag. It has four feet on the bottom as you can see and each feet it's imprinted or embossed also with Louis Vuitton. And basically every single hardware is embossed with Louis Vuitton. Um, this here is embossed, this brass here is embossed on the side, then the zipper pull. The zipper pull is of course embossed with Louis Vuitton. This ring here is embossed with Louis Vuitton. And the feet as I said before. Um, Okay guys, so let's open the back. The back has a really uh, large opening, which I really like, so you are um, able to open like, yeah, you know what I mean, so you're not limited as the Epi, like the Epi leather Speedy. So the Speedy in Epi leather, they are a bit, yeah, they are more closed. Of course, they are not open. They will not be able to open the back until here, so. But anyway, so here you can see is the strap and the strap is the same material like the back, is the umprint leather and every single brass here, the buckle is also embossed with Louis Vuitton and here this one is also embossed with Louis Vuitton on one side and here on the other side as well, there you go. And it's kind of, this kind of um, carabinery, it's kind of bit, it's different as the uh, speedy bandoliere in canvas. So it looks a bit different. And you get two, you get two strap. So you can, you get the, re you can do, you can, um, how can I explain? I mean, let's show you shortly. So you will have three piece of straps actually. So that you are able to carry the back um, by shoulder or see here or by crossbody. There you go. And then it becomes just a shorter strap to carry the back by by shoulder. And this is just a piece which you can add to make the strap longer. And it's uh, detachable and adjustable. So I stored inside my bag just a pillow from IKEA. And the interior of the bag, it's, a, it's also a purple. It's a purple lining with some, yeah, the, the interior looks like the Neverfull. There you go. And it's like, it's also a purple. And you have two pockets here, as you can see, and a D ring, which is here. And on the opposite side, you have a zipper compartment, as you can see there. And here on, you have even the piece of leather, which says where the bag is made. And in mine is written Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. It's just... There you go guys. Yeah, so I would say let's just start to fit some things inside. And the back it's, it's heavy, even empty, because the, the leather, because of the leather and because of the hardware, yeah, it's it's a bit heavy, but I still can manage it. So I would say let's start to fill in the back and I Actually, I'm carrying the Speedy 30 in canvas and I added here a bandeau or a twilly by Hermes and here I have the clay pochette uh, in monogram by Louis Vuitton and just added here to do some decoration and let's also show you shortly the handle I don't know if you can tell but you definitely have more space here as here and the drop measure from 
This one is Yeah, I mean it's like four and a half centimeters. It's a four and a half inch. That's our that's our um, like eleven and a half centimeters. So you have a half inch more space to carry the back as a by hand. So let's start to fill in some things inside the Speed Twenty Five. I just start with my cosmetic pochette, and this one is the one in monogram. There you go. Let's make like this. Then I have here my Zippy um, compact wallet in monogram as well. You actually are a bit limited to carry stuff with you, so maybe it's the, instead to put the cosmetic pochette in the PM size, we can also um, only use the mini pochette. But however, I just want to show how it looks. And then here I have the agenda, six ring agenda in the PM size in Damier Ben. I have here my Port Monero or the round coin purse and in which I store my headset and mobile charger. Let's close it. I don't know if you can tell. It's already full actually. Then I would carry my Pres prescription glasses and I would put my mobile phone which is an iPhone 5 in one of the pockets here inside so you can see here my toothbrush pouch then I have my card holder and this one it's by Brown Biffel, it's a German brand. I will put this one inside the zipper compartment here and I have my keys and this is the six ring key holder in Damia Den and I really enjoy and like this one and we'll put this one in one of the pocket as well which is here so you can see there you go. It's a bit dark. I mean, the weather is completely changing. Then I have a hand lotion or hand cream and, and a small umbrella in case it's raining. Just put this one uh, on top and you still would have space for a shawl or let's try I mean, there is the mini pochette in monogram. I do not really need the mini pochette inside this bag, except I would use it as a cosmetic bag, but let's put it inside just to show you that you would have space. There you go, guys. Shortly that you are able to see that it fits perfectly inside. Then on top, my toothbrush and the umbrella. And then the back, let's close the back and I have to mention that the zipper on this back is just like butter. It's so nice. There you go guys. So and now you can see that it becomes a bit heavy because also the shape is changing. Something is inside so here it becomes a bit like here it goes down and it looks more like this. And yes it is heavy but completely manageable for me at least. So let's give you some modeling shots. So. Okay. So, I mean, I already showed you how it looks on me in outfits of the day. But just to show you that you can carry the bag also by shoulder. And I am about 5'3", which is 1 meter and 62 centimeters for the European people and then here by uh, elbow by hand yeah there you go guys and with the other uh, strap 
If you would add this one, then you will be able to carry the bag. Also, I say shoulder bag. I mean, as a crossbody bag. Yeah, there you go, guys. I hope that you like the small review. But there is really not much more to say. I enjoy the bag. I'm really happy. I would recommend it. It's heavy. It's expensive. But it's worth the money. And it smells incredible good. And it feels incredible good. And that bag would, would uh, stay with me the whole life, actually. So, what do you think, guys? And I choose the color Aurora because in the end, I don't know, it, it's a small bag and I thought, come on, I need also a pop of color in my collection. So this one, it's, it's really a beautiful color, as you can see. And I think it's, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a cute bag and you can dress it. You can combine it with really a lot of colors, so yeah. Yeah guys, okay. I really hope you enjoyed watching this one and let me know what you think about my speedy bandoulier and emprunt and wish you a good day and see you soon on my next video. Bye!